Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to make visitor counter without microcontroller. It also has a relay to turn on and off some load, such as the room lamps and other stuff. About two years ago I made the same project but using Arduino. But since I want to do in some challenge that I called it no microcontroller challenge. So I made this project again, but this time without using microcontroller. This circuit consists of four parts. The first part of this circuit is the counter IC, which using to drive in the seven segments. We can control the counting process using three lines, up, down, and reset. By connecting pin 9 to the VCC, the number increasing by 1. By connecting pin 7 to the VCC, the number decreasing by 1. And by connecting pin 5 to the VCC, both 7 segments coming back to 0. The second part of this circuit is two laser beam and two LDRs to count in the number of persons that entering or leaving the room. The reason we use in two laser beams instead of only one because the circuit have to identify if the person entering the room or leaving the room. So if the human body cut in the laser beam number one in the first, that meaning he entering the room. But if the human body cut in the laser beam number two in a first, that meaning he live in the room. Each LDR connected with a resistor in series. The output signal from each LDR going to Schmidt trigger to removing the noise. The third part of this project is a delay circuit. We have to use delay circuit because when somebody wants to enter in the room, his body cut in the laser beam number one, so the display count up. But then his body cut in the second laser beam too, so the display count down and the display showing the number zero always. To solving this problem, we have to use delay circuit. When any laser beam cut in first, the counting process stop working for a moment. Using pin 4 of the ICs, which is toggle enable. But as soon as this capacitor get charged, the counting process for the second laser beam will be enabled. So the display count up. This one mega ohm resistor using for discharging the capacitor. The last part of this circuit using to running the load when the counting number is more than zero. But how this circuit can detect the zero number on the display? Here I use a clever track. The zero number on the seven segment is the only number that the D segment turns on and the G segment turns off at the same time. So when both seven segments showing the zero number, the optocouplers turns on and deactivate the relay. Then I convert this circuit to PCB. And I go to PCBWay.com and make an order. Insert the PCB size, quantity and color. This time I choose white color for my PCB. Click add to card, upload your Gerber file and complete the payment. After about two months, I received my package. The PCB quality is very good and the white color PCB is very beautiful. Then I'm going to solder in the components on the PCB.
Then it's time to test. As you can see, when the display number is zero, the load is off. But when the visitor's number become more than zero, the load switched on. This circuit has high stability. For example, if the fly cut in one of two laser beams, nothing happened. As always, I put the circuit Gerber file and parts list below in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.